Forum is valuable to students because it's not only a great way to get a job or an internship, but it's a great way to practice talking with professionals and network because you never know where one conversation may lead you in the future. When you go to Forum, you know that every single employer and every single hiring company it does want you and they do want the skills that you have to offer, especially coming out of the Cal Poly program. It's probably the single best way to grow your network. If you're going to use any of the resources from SEAC, it's definitely the one you want to go to. Almost every single person you meet at Forum went to Cal Poly because most of these companies have students from Cal Poly and know the caliber and so they are looking for people from Cal Poly. It's fun, it kind of makes it uh, easier to connect to someone because they're a Cal Poly grad, like they did this program. Company reps are usually surprised when you walk in as a freshman, but I would definitely say that they are impressed. They like seeing that you're there already interested in structural engineering. My advice for students attending Forum is to start attending as a freshman because even though you may not be looking for a job at the time, it's a great way to start making connections with professionals so that when you keep attending the following years, they'll know who you are. So when it comes to when you're looking for a job, they have already known how dedicated you are to the program because you've been attending Forum for the last two or three years. I can tell you that as a freshman walking into Forum, you're at the top, you're already ahead of the game, and so I really advise freshmen to walk in there confident that they can do anything. I would literally have like index cards of like names that I saw on the website of like CEOs or something, and then also like questions of like, you know, what I wanted to ask them. And so not like I wouldn't have them out while I was talking to people, but you know, you go on the back and stand over by the bathroom and you know, pull them out of your jacket and like, oh yeah, right, I wanted to ask them about this. It's impressive when students come up to us and already have a base knowledge of the company, whether it's they're talking to professionals that work there, they're talking to students that already know about the company, or they just plain visit the website and, and understand the base knowledge of the company. That allows them to ask more um, in-depth questions about the company. I'd say at a bare minimum, you need to go to any company that you're interested in, uh, look them up, uh, get information on them, so you don't just sit there and ask them what they do and they'll think that you've never even heard of them before. Uh, if you show that you're interested, they'll love that. Best way to prepare for Forum is kind of go over your resume and know who you are within your own head. You, It's a resume free event, so you have to be able to portray yourself um, just word to mouth. You want these companies to remember you. so. The best way to prepare is knowing how it is you're going to introduce yourself, how you're going to conduct yourself around these companies, and what it is you're going to say. That'll make you stand out from the other students. I think the best way to prepare for Forum is to look through all the companies that we'll be attending and go through which ones you would definitely like to talk to, prioritize them, because Forum is usually two to three hours. and. Although that's a lot of time, there's so many other students there, you want to really talk to the companies that are special to you. Pay a lot of attention to where you want to be when you end up out of school. Um, sometimes I'll ask a student, hey, you know, what, 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 where do you want to end up? Like, you know, what, what office are you interested in? Where do you want to go? And they say, well, wherever, I'll go wherever, I'll go wherever. But you really want to take some time and think about where you want to end up. Um, after after you graduate from college because it makes a, a big difference in how happy you are in your career and in your life which is really important. I'm just walking up to a booth is a little bit a little bit uh, formal and sometimes you know the, the good questions are not asked but sometimes sitting next to someone at a dinner table you start to ask what type of food they like and, and then what they enjoy and then that starts to relay into what they do in their career and you can have the real conversations and that's what I really like about the forum which is different than most other schools we, we visit. So the dinner part of Structural Forum allows you to sit down with companies and really get a feel for what they're like in a more relaxed environment. Um, sometimes at the networking part you might feel a little tense because everybody else is up there trying to talk to people, but at the dinner you're there, you're with the company by themselves, and you really get a chance to talk to them about structural engineering, but even just about their life and get a better sense of them as people. The dinner, I think, is a good opportunity to just really sit down and get to know a few students a lot better. Uh, we usually bring representatives from our different offices and we try and kind of associate uh, which student are interested in which office at that time. Some of the questions I ask is what do they enjoy doing? What, what do they enjoy doing on their off time? And that leads me to 
understand them better and what they're looking for in their career and maybe how we can help them and how we can how they can help us. I'm a big believer in dress for success, kind of dress for the job you want. Um, I wore a suit every year. Not everyone does. It's kind of personal preference. Uh, it is a professional event, so definitely dressing up for the occasion is good. You're going to be a lot more relaxed as opposed to showing up and feeling underdressed and, you know, you can feel a bit more nervous. I dress professional but also comfortable. <laughs> You're going to be walking around for a few hours, standing for a while, just talking to companies. Um, and then you don't want to be always fidgeting with your clothes. So for me, it's just black slacks, um, flat shoes, and then a nice, a nice blouse with a, a blazer. So I definitely would expect uh, an interested uh, student to, to follow up with an email. Um, uh, the uh, forum's resume free, right? Um, so they would follow up with a resume and any kind of a cover letter or an introductory um, introductory paragraph or whatever, uh, maybe citing some of the previous experiences or, or, or discussions that we might have had, uh, because that's important. We talked to a lot of students those days, and uh, there's something that kind of triggers a memory or uh, reminds us of who this particular person is, that's very valuable. I bring a pen and a notepad and then I write in specifically the representative I talked to, um, from what company, and that way after forum when I'm formatting emails and whatnot I can say, oh I talked to this representative and that way it gives me a little bit more credibility. Don't just ask the soft questions, but you know, how, how much time am I really going to spend in the office? What am I really going to do the first day? Am I, am I really going to do some analysis or am I, you know, filing papers? And, and every single company has a different, different philosophy. So. It's interesting to hear and, and you want to make sure you're putting yourself in the right situation. I did this every year and I think that it's great. Um, I went and introduced myself to the table I was sitting with first before I went and talked with people. I just, you know, because that's easy. It's like, hey, I'm Jared. I'm going to be sitting with you guys tonight. Like, hey, what's your name? Oh, nice to meet you. Great. I'm looking forward to it. And that doesn't even have to be a long conversation because you have them all night. And so, you know, for the hour at least while you're eating dinner together. And so going and introducing yourself is important for the first thing. Making eye contact and shaking people's hands goes a long way. My advice for students attending forum is to be confident and calm. There's a lot of other students attending forum, so you want to stand out and not act as nervous. Um, so just be yourself and be confident um, because you'll meet a company that will suit you eventually. The advice I have for students attending Structural Forum would be just don't be nervous and don't be shy. And there's a lot of people there, especially now that there's much, many more companies there than, that, than there was, say, maybe five or ten years ago. But there's a lot of people to go meet, a lot of people to go talk to. And don't, don't waste the first half an hour kind of shuffling your feet and walking around and trying to warm up because there's lots of people there. And we're all just people too, and we're all easy to talk to and we're just looking forward to meeting uh, energetic uh, young students.